So just before I leave Sydney, I thought I'd give a, a quick first impressions on the two happy and uh, how it's gone so far. So if we look at the board, uh, Britt talks about adding more towel area in the board um, and also, you know, that red patch signifies that uh, it is the second edition part two of the happy series. And um, yeah, a bit more towel area in the board kind of around the towel um, just makes it more user friendly for people that had problems with uh, not enough towel area in the first happy. Um, he's also talked about and a bit of double concave between the fins. I'll flip it over so you guys can see. Oh, might bump it a little bit. So yeah, a bit of double concave between the fins. You can feel, and uh, yeah, it's just very slightly um, gets the board uh, quick, quick on transition and rolls rail to rail. Um, the biggest surprise of this uh, two happy so far has been these fins. So they're actually a neo glass accelerator. Uh, no, not sorry, not accelerator. Uh, neo glass reactor set. And they've worked really, really, really well. I'm um, coupled with that squash shell. Um, let's look at the entry rocker real quick. Haven't really done a heap of research, but um, yeah, it's got a, it's kind of got a low to medium entry rocker, so it gets you into waves early, and and it's got a bit more exit, I think, than the uh, first original Happy. So yeah, that's like a medium exit rocker. Um, I found this board actually. I don't ride a lot of short boards that straight away. I say that are really good. This one's definitely recommended. I'd say I recommend it for days where it's more kind of like two to three foot with a bit more curve in the wave. Um, yeah, the outline kind of suggests uh, that it's a very good traditional high performance shortboard. One thing that I like is the foam. Heaps of foam, heaps of paddling power in your chest. Uh, really gets you in the waves nice and early and there's a bit more beef in the, in the front. So when you lean on the nose or if you lean a bit back, it just kind of propels you forward. This board's extremely good on rail, um, so yeah, if you if it's not on your radar, it should be great from I'd say anything from three to six foot, two two to six foot, best best surfed in a uh, three to seven, three to six foot. Um, first day I rode it, it was quite big, and uh, yeah, so far it's going really amazing. Um, probably my I haven't had a board where five surfs in it's felt good every surf so far. Only thing set up I actually wasn't too crazy about when the waves were a bit smaller was the AMs. Um, kind of felt they were a bit made the board too stiff and dragged a bit, so yeah, that wasn't really my favourite uh, option for fins. Got a bit of a helicopter in the background. Anyway, that's uh, that's the first impressions. Um, might do a full review shoot soon. Get my cousin on. He actually hasn't been liking it so much, so discuss why he hasn't liked it. I think he got a, it's a bit too big. This one's a um, 511, 18 and 7 eighths for two and three eighths. So I think it's roughly around 27.8 to 27.9 litres. It's a stock 511. Um, well done now, Merrick. You've done well on this one. And yeah, all these reviews, um, I make sure to be as honest as possible and uh, make sure you guys choose the right equipment. For guys that don't like a lot of foam in the chest um, whilst paddling, um, it's kind of it's kind of a jewel. Like you, I think, like if you have more foam up your chest, it'll be a lot easier to catch waves. And this this makes wave catching super easy. And um, yeah, durability. The board's actually pretty strong. Like my cousin, the way he says, he just goes. He's a bit of a helmet, so he just kind of goes for anything. Um, even though he's only like 16, he's um yeah he's got a he's got the charging mindset of like a Mark Matthews or something. Uh, so yeah, he's he does he does take quite a few heavy drops so the durability is quite good as well um for review i'll get my cousin on for the full review maybe over zoom or something and we'll yeah discuss the bird a bit board a bit further medium rails um feels yeah just there there might not be surf footage of me surfing this but uh we might have a few photos possibly i'm not sure but i want to get one second hand if i can or the original happy it'll be interesting to see how they compare anyway thanks for watching this uh first impressions um yeah, our Merrick, good job, I like that red patch, thanks for watching.